Good morning. So yesterday, I could only manage one post on my page because I'm on location filming. Just got on set now. Um, went on Twitter to complain about the traffic coming to this end because for me, once you pass Aja, you're out of Lagos. Okay, uh, and I tweeted that and then I was seeing all sorts of, you know, stuff, but I wasn't too sure what was going on. I carried on with my work and then got back on there because Twitter is where most of you have run away from. I know they can be very verbose and vociferous in their communication, but that is where I get information real time. And so I saw a boy being carried, and I'm like, oh, what could have happened? Another child, not knowing much about what was going on, uh, went back to work. And then um, I think I went back to check. The network here on this side is a bit iffy. And I could see something about a child, a 12-year-old, and then um, football. Like, what's going on? It was later on when we were filming, I was even having a discussion with my director and another colleague, Choma, and we were talking about, she said, oh, I just saw the video. And the boy, is, his lips are red and bleeding, definitely internal bleeding, because there was no injury on the outside of his body. And I heard something about football. I'm like, how can football cause this? And the director was even having a very serious discussion, like, what's the, what's the punishment? for this crime i'm like if there are children involved they must be sent to juvenile detention or something and or the parents definitely the parents and then i finally got home so late checked on twitter again that's when i found that there was a facebook interview of the father of sylvester online and um, i watched everything with his two sisters by the side of the father and how, you know, the the school said it was football, and that is to come and take him, take him home. A nurse called the parents, and all of that. And in all of that, I want to just ask all of you, who feel you have the right to tag me and and throw insults, that you cannot be selective in your call out. Your outrage is so hypocritical and insipid. Okay, what are you calling me out for? A few years ago, when a school teacher raped a two-year-old girl in Christland School, I posted the picture. After asking questions and getting the right information from Mirable Center, the guy threatened to sue me and I had to speak to Dr. Chidi Odinkalu to find out my options. And he said, oh, don't worry about anything. You will just foam at the mouth calling names for what you choose when and when not to speak out i choose to speak out every time and it's not for you to tell me or to tag me in some meaningless post and this uh cloud chasing wannabe blogger he say i'm scrolling through celebrity pages oh please scroll through my page scroll you will see the man's picture there you people i didn't hear your voice thank god for lagos state judiciary even though they are lax in some things or most things, when it comes to rape, molestation, domestic violence, I'll give them tops. I'll score them top-notch. A girl in Abuja, 14-year-old, raped and killed, with a used condom found in her. Where is your outrage? Deeper Life School, in Uyowe, a boy that was sent to boarding school, came back ill, looking like a broomstick. His mother was up and down, Shouting everywhere. Where was your outrage? You have the guts to tag me. So I am disappointed in you. You are disappointed in yourself. You cannot choose when and when not to speak. You cannot choose. Your outrage has to be seamless. Your faves, they are there. You have not gone to their page. They are tagging Kate Henshaw. Are you okay? No, are you okay? I'm coming. 
you choose when and when not to speak because it suits you. That teacher from Christian school is now in jail. Scroll through my page, go years back, you will see his picture there. Your fake yeah, 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 up and down. You demand better of leaders, you demand better of school authorities. And I think the school was a bit hasty to say it was football. Yes, maybe the boy said football because he was afraid of what was said to him. That if he tells the truth, something will happen to him. So we have to keep pressing and pressing. Especially when you see those kind of injuries. You are tagging me. Today he would have been 12. If we have structures in place. In place systems at work. Laws that bite. We won't have to be shouting at every single thing. It was adults before now, it's children that are at stake. Parents, I don't know how you are bringing up your children. Some of you know the parents of these boys who committed this atrocity, who killed this young boy. Some of you know them. Some of you wine and dine with them. The rumor now is that, oh, one is out of the country. Somehow they've escaped. The school knows the parents. And the parents of other children in that school, what are people doing? Then I found out that the school has disabled comments. What are you disabling comments for? Something has happened. People are concerned. You are disabling comments on your page. When it's time to elect leaders who have gumption, who have guts, policy makers, because all these things dovetail into, you know, it just, everything follows. Everything follows. Comes like a pack of cards that has fallen. When you don't elect the right people to do the right thing. Laws, policy makers, because all this thing is from there. You are tagging me. There must be justice for every child who has died in whatever situation they've been sent to school and they come back dead. Millions of money spent on tuition. I went to boarding school. I don't think there was killing then. Yes, there was bullying, but I, I didn't see it that much. You cut grass, V-shape, which is endless. You can cut till tomorrow. You wash toilets. Wash uh, seniors underwear. Not bullying, beating, kicking, drinking. I mean, come on. Only an autopsy will reveal the truth of what happened to that boy. Only consistent call out consistent election of the right people in the right places that will take care of all of us not just some of us